Most Garmin watches have a feature that I like to use when I do cycling, and it's auto climb. Let's see how it works. We will go into an activity. So I'm gonna hit the start stop button. We will go into bike, but that could be into running or many other activities. So let's go into bike. And before you start the activity, you can do it into the activity also, but just press and hold the menu button to reach that page. Go into bike settings if you are into bike, but you, you get it, it could be run settings or walk settings or whatever. Uh, and then go down to auto climb. And as you can see by default, it's on off. Enter into here and you can change the status from off always or when not navigating. The reason of this one, and it's the one I pick, is because the auto climb is a feature that let you switch page. So if I go back to here, as you can see, I set this page for when I do just uh, regular cycling. So I got my hearth rate, my speed, average speed distance, uh, timer and the time of the day. That's what I want to see when I do cycling, but when I am climbing, I want to want I want to see some other information. So I want to see this page where I got my earth rate, my vertical vertical speed, uh, speed distance, the number of meters I have climb and descent, and uh, my grade, the grade of the hill. So totally different page. Uh, so, because it will switch from, from this page to this page automatically, I don't want this to happen if I am navigating. So, if I set a point on the map to go somewhere and I have to follow some instruction, I don't want to skip that page. So, that's why I set, uh, oops, that's why I set it to when not navigating. Sorry, that was into bike settings and then into auto climb. Auto climb when not navigating. That's what I choose. Okay, and then you can choose your run screen and your climb screen. So the run screen, as I told you, will be this one. So I select it and the climb screen will be uh, this one. That's all right. Uh, they look the same because the, the I don't know, as you can see, this one is not uh, the same vertical speed. All right. And then uh, you can invert the color. So that will make the climb screen black. Or if it was black, it would turn, well, it, invert the color when you fall into the climb screen. So that make it obvious that the watch uh, catch that you are actually climbing and that the information that are shown on the watch is the one of the climb screen. I like to invert it. I think it's fine. And then you've got the vertical speed. So this is when the switch will happen. So I set it to 600 meters. Maybe you can set it to less, maybe more. Uh, try it at 600 meters and judge by yourself after that. Uh, but you, you can just come in here and uh, change it. The last settings is the switch mode and I set it to slow. It can be medium or fast, but I like to set it to slow. This means that if you just go uh, up a very, very little hill that you climb in 10 seconds, you probably don't want to switch the page. So if you go at a vertical speed of 800 meters for uh, maybe five or six seconds, it will not switch you have to be over 600 for some moment before it switch. Uh, and the same thing if you go up a hill and then for maybe 10 seconds, you go under 600 meters, uh, maybe you go at 500 and you keep that pace for 10 seconds, it will keep getting on, on the uh, climbing screen up to a certain moment. So I like to put it to slow, but test it by yourself and see what it does. After that, you just come back to your activity page and it's set up. As soon as you will climb, it will automatically switch until well, you stop climbing. So I hope this was helpful.